Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi. If you're new here, I would like it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel as it would encourage me to make more such helpful videos for you. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and you can also find me on Instagram. Welcome to the fourth part of the course which is about using icons, photographs and vector arts. If you are new here, I would encourage you to watch the previous videos in this series from the link on the screen. Let's begin by talking about something known as the picture superiority effect. If you have attended any seminar in the recent times, you might have seen this statistic. According to it, people remember only 10% of what they hear, 20% of what they read and about 80% of what they see. To back this data, I found that 30% of the brain is involved only in visual processing and an additional 20 to 30% of the brain is involved in visual processing of other things. There is a branch of science called cognitive neurophysiology where people have attempted to measure how much information passes through various senses. This is an approximation but taste and smell are the slowest senses and hearing and seeing are the fastest with seeing being slightly faster than hearing. We can read at the rate of about 40 bits of information and we can hear it at the rate of about 30 bits of information. Which is another reason for you to not put too much text on the slide because people read slightly faster than you talk. Now, apart from the conscious information, there is something known as unconscious information which I will clarify in a minute. And again, the numbers here are approximate but a thousand kilobits per second for touch and an amazing 10,000 kilobits per second for seeing. This is the fastest sense we have by far. Now, what exactly is unconscious information? When we see a picture, for example, this picture of a snake, most of us get scared without any analysis. We are not trying to identify whether it is a poisonous snake or not. We get scared on the instance and this happens because our visual processing is very fast as our life depends on it. And when we are processing information unconsciously, we process a lot more. Like here, we process the entire picture in a second or probably even less. Just the word snake written on a screen doesn't scare us. This is the difference between conscious and unconscious information. This is called the picture superiority effect. Now, there are pictures that are more abstract in nature which remind us of real life objects rather than representing them. And then, there are pictures which are very detailed and look exactly like the real life object. There is a combination of both in between. We use abstract pictures to explain and probably to remind people about things. With them, Bigger does not always mean better, as even if you make the picture bigger, you don't see any additional details to it. And we mostly use those pictures to illustrate bullet points because they work in small sizes. In case of more detailed pictures, we use them to impress and to prove things. So with them, bigger means better. So if you have such detailed images, you can use them in full screen mode. And we use them to illustrate headers. Now, here's the question. How many pictures can you have on one slide? You can have one picture for the header and or one picture for each of the bullet points till you don't have more than six. Suppose you have a slide like this with four bullet points and you can use a big image which makes the slide look better. Or you can also use four smaller pictures to illustrate bullets. or if you wish, you can use both photographs and the four icons. And with that said, let's begin our journey by talking about icons in the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any related videos from this series.